Your child is very busy learning a language. Before your child starts school, he or she will have to learn no fewer than 8,000 words. Each and every day, your child learns new words and new ways of expressing himself or herself. We could say that your child's language is growing. And you mean most for how well your child will learn a language. This film gives you some ideas about how you can help your child to learn a language well and master different forms of expression. In the film, we follow Isra and her family during an ordinary day. Contrary to what many people believe, you can actually help your child with Danish when you speak the language you're best at. It doesn't matter whether it's Turkish, like this family, Arabic, Vietnamese, Danish or another language. A large vocabulary and the ability to express yourself in many different ways are important for getting on well at school and in life. Enjoy the film. Everyday life is full of opportunities to teach your child a language. Your child learns lots of words when you just talk about ordinary things. When you help him or her to make the bed, tidy up or brush his or her teeth. When you help your child to put on his or her outdoor clothes, it's a good idea to talk about the clothes. Is it the thin pink jacket or the thick red jacket that will be best in this weather. Will your child wear the brown boots or the violet shoes to the nursery school? You can also talk about what the clothes are called in your native language and in Danish. This teaches your child that both languages are important. Your child will remember words and learn new words when he or she knows them in your native language and in Danish. The two languages support each other. You can also talk about something that has happened or something that will be happening. As you've just seen, there are many everyday occasions when you can give your child the opportunity to hear and use many words. <laughs> just as your child needs to have a varied native language, he or she needs to have varied Danish. Your child will learn a lot of Danish when playing with children who speak Danish. Nursery school teachers are careful to give your child a good opportunity to develop his or her Danish. They work with different subjects with your child so that he or she hears the words and expressions that suit the subject. Subjects can include everything from the letters of the alphabet to things that can be found in the woods. Just as you do at home, nursery school teachers make sure they talk to your child about what he or she has experienced. At lunch, the children and the adults talk about what they've been doing during the day and what they will do when they've finished eating. They also talk about the food they're eating. There are special activities in many nursery schools for children with a native language other than Danish. These activities focus on developing various areas of the Danish language. Isra is playing a game about prepositions, such as under, 
next to and on. There is also work on understanding the contents of books, games and songs. Jo, guld og godt i tre bjørne hedder de. de. Fordi der er jo forskel på bjørnene. Hvad er forskellen? Det er store, lille, liste. Yeah. The knowledge your child receives here is helpful when he or she discovers the same books, games and songs later, together with the other children at the nursery school. Og så siger lille bjørn, mor, der nogen, der så på min seng. You can always ask your child's nursery school teachers how they work with your child's language at the nursery school. Hi. Hi. Hi, Isra. <laughs> they will also tell you which language activities your child takes part in. Perhaps you could try some of the same things at home. It's a good idea for your child to take some pictures or things to nursery school sometimes. Photos of your family, for instance. Pictures can help your child to have a good conversation with the other children and the adults at the nursery school. Good cooperation between you and the teachers at your child's nursery school helps to ensure that your child will get on well there. Take a bus to the beach or the forest, for instance, and visit a different playground to the one you normally go to. You can also visit some of the libraries, where they put on plays or play music for children and their parents, free of charge. The most important thing is for you and your child to talk about the things you've experienced together. Children learn words by experiencing what they mean. A good way of teaching a child the word apple is to see one, feel it and smell it. You can also tell your child that apples are fruit, like pears and oranges. The more your child knows about an object, the easier it will be for him or her to remember the word for it. A trip to the supermarket is an obvious way to learn new words. Here your child can experience what words mean by looking at, touching and smelling the objects behind the words. You can also play with words by giving your child different small jobs to do. But be careful not to make the jobs too difficult for your child. Helping must be fun. When your child helps you with practical, everyday jobs, you have the opportunity to teach him or her a lot of words. Most children enjoy helping to prepare dinner. In this case, you can talk about the dish you're making, the ingredients you need and what to do with them. An apple, for instance, that must be peeled, cut into cubes and fried. You can also talk about the implements you use. 
You need a teaspoon and a measuring jug to measure the salt and oil, a knife and a chopping board for the red cabbage. It will also be a good idea to talk about what the different implements are called, both in your native language and in Danish. <laughs> when the family sits down to eat, you can teach your child the language used at table. For example, you can use the words when you or your child asks for something. In many homes, the evening meal is the time when the family gathers and you can talk to each other about what has happened during the day. If your child has the opportunity to talk about what he or she has experienced during the day with the rest of the family, he or she will learn a lot about how we talk to each other. We take turns to talk and listen when others tell us something. Most children need a little help from an adult before they can begin talking about something. You can help your child to get started by asking questions such as what's the best thing that happened today? It's also important to help your child to continue when he or she has begun to talk about something. You can do this by asking such questions as what happened then? What did the other children say about that? Questions of this type help your child to tell you more. If your child says something that's not quite right, you can help by repeating what he or she said in the right way. For instance, if your child says, I eated my apple, you can say, oh, you ate your apple. Your child will need the ability to talk about things and talk to others in a respectful way when he or she starts school, for instance. Books are full of experiences that you and your child can share. You can use a book in many different ways. You and your child can tell stories based on the pictures in the book. You can read aloud from the book for your child and you can talk about what happens in the book. The most important thing is that you and your child share an experience at the same time as you both use the language. When you start on a book your child hasn't seen before, you can look at the picture on the cover and talk about what happens in the book. This will let your child know something about the book before you begin reading it aloud. It's a good idea to remind your child that he or she must ask if there's anything he or she doesn't understand. Baba, bu ne? Kızım, o e, bal kaba. Ha, bal kaba. He, bal kaba oldu. Görüyor musun? Darmakçı da dadı kaska. Gitti İsra. Baba, cuma. It's a good idea to read the same book many times. Children love to hear the same story again and again and repetition helps your child to learn the language. You can also use your body when you read from or look at books. İsra, gullak niye böyle korkmuş? Ne oldu aşkım? Ayılar korkuyor. You can also ask your child if he or she would like to help you to tell the story. We hope we have given you some ideas about how you can help your child to learn new words and new ways of expressing himself or herself. With you as a language role model, your child is well on the way to developing good, varied language skills, which will be a great advantage for him or her, both now and later in life.